Are you sure this box with the Book of Prophecies is for reals? I think that dig bat in black was pulling your leg. Be quiet and dig, you imbecile. I must find that Book of Prophecies and make it my own. His was the only clue we have. We cannot afford to dismiss it without a thorough investigation. I'm just saying a shot in the dark ain't gonna get us any closer to... Whoa! What is it? Have you found something? Show it to me at once, fool! Yes, sir, easy. This has got to be that Pandora's box Hades mentioned. Leave it. What? After all that digging? That is not the box which I desire. We are finished with this world. Come. No. May your heart. What's wrong, Riku? Are you tired? And do you need a break? We can stop. No, just... I've been here. I should know this place. But that all seems like another life. Well, gee, uh, think of all you've seen. All the feelings you've felt. Why, you've done years of growing in almost no time at all. I remember my first time here. I was so scared. <sighs> but now my doubts and fears are gone. If anything, I feel exhilarated. And it's not because there's dark... This is different. And it's not adrenaline either. I know Aqua needs us, but I'm ready. I'm in control now. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're with me this time. Mm -mm. It's not me. I think it's because you finally found inside you that special strength to protect what matters. What? Sometimes you care so much for somebody that other feelings disappear. And then there's no room for fear or doubt. Is that it? Strength to protect what matters. It reminds me of a promise I made. To who? Just someone I once met. Can't tell. Sounds like a good memory. Yeah. While we're reminiscing, Mickey, does any of this look familiar? Uh, sort of. But the realm of darkness has changed since I was here with Aqua. Yeah, it's different from what I remember. Usually, I'd just follow my heart, and Aqua would show me the way. But the closer I get, the hazier our connection feels. You mean... Maybe. But we can't give up hope. Yeah.
this beach. It's gone. Huh? I'm positive Aqua was here. But now, her trail's gone dim. I've been here too. With Sora. Really? This is where we found our way back to the Realm of Light. Hey, maybe Aqua did too. Aqua has fallen into an even darker abyss. Somewhere I can't see her. And I don't think we're equipped to dive any deeper than we already are. So then... <gasps> oh no! What? Riku, be careful. Even the least threatening Heartless are stronger in this realm. I got it. Somebody needs me. Who are you? Riku? Wake up! Riku! <gasps> are you okay? Where'd the Heartless go? I got more than half of them, and the rest vanished. But uh, they spit you out first. Ugh, thanks. I owe you. I know you feel invincible, but we're not. Are you all right, Mickey? Yeah, thanks to the new gear. But your Keyblade... Oh. The Heartless here are stronger than what we expected. I guess we probably should have powered up our Keyblades before we came in here, huh? I think we need to go back to Master Yen's Hit's tower so we can regroup. But Aqua's... still down here alone, facing enemies like that. I know. 
What if she's feeling as scared and alone as I felt the first time I came here? How long are we supposed to keep her waiting in this awful place? But Aqua, she's like Sora. What? No, 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 no. Strong like Sora. Oh. Okay. Good. Then I guess she's gonna be alright. Sora could fall into any darkness and swim his way out. Besides, we won't be long. Right. Huh? Can't use this keyblade anymore. Might as well leave it here. For the other me. What? I see. You could not regain your strength. Ah, uh, no biggie. I still learned a lot. Regardless, Sora, you will need the power of waking. Oh. Uh, uh... It can't be gone forever. Maybe something will trigger it real soon. Like what exactly? Hello. How about a bite on the head? Hey. Perhaps it could be something that is as simple as that. Wait, you think so too? Whenever you are in need, magic happens. That is your greatest strength, Sora. You make it sound like an accident. <laughs> Whoa! Huh? We're back, Master! Whoa! Oh, hey, wow! You guys are all here! We were here before, but you didn't wait! Hey there, fellas! So, what have you three been up to? We were visiting... Oh. And to figure out how to get all of Sora's lost powers back! What? It was a big disappointment. Oh, what a shame. But, honestly... We didn't fare any better. Did you manage to figure out where Aqua is? Cause Master Yen Sid said that's why you fellas left. Oh, what the heck? Come on! Can I finally say something? We know Master Aqua made it as far as the beach that Sora and I once visited. But that's where her trail ends. Meaning? All traces of her vanish into the Great Abyss. Beneath the Realm of Darkness. She's dead? No. Sora was dragged into the Abyss during his exam. And I went in after him. So I think if we find someone who is really close to Aqua, and they make the dive, they could reach her down there. I'm not sure who's even left to ask. Ventus is hidden, and Aqua's the only one who knows where. Plus, nobody's seen Terra in ages. Aqua was the last. So Aqua... She's going to be the key to finding all three. Yes, their teacher, Master Ericus, would have been another possibility. Had Xehanort not mercilessly struck him down. Ah! 
I'll save her. Huh? huh? But Sora, that's going to be super hard since you don't have the power of waking. Huh? Sorry. I have no idea why that just popped out. Well, it was pretty convincing. Yeah. Better not let us down. Mm. Sora, you must focus on regaining your lost power of waking. Mickey and Riku. I recall that Master Aqua journeyed to many worlds and connected with others who could be the link we need. Good plan, sir. Riku and I will retrace her steps and see if we can find any sort of clues. But first... Hmm? We got hit pretty hard in the Realm of Darkness. My Keyblade was damaged, and the Heartless broke Riku's clean in half. So... We're going to need to get replacements before we can continue. In that case, rendezvous with Kairi and Lee. They are continuing their training under the tutelage of the wizard Merlin. Yes, sir. Also, I would like you to deliver these for me. Are they? Yes, they are the same as the ones I gave you. Special vestments to shield Kairi and Lee from the darkness. We got him! What? No fair! What about my outfit, Master? Sora, don't bug him like that! I can consider it! Settle down. I have new clothes for you too, Sora. Yeah? A gift from the <laughs> good fairies. Huh? I knew you'd come through for me! Thanks! Those are no ordinary garments, Sora. <sighs> Like before, they have very special powers, so it took extra time to prepare them. In addition, there is a <laughs> gift from Chip and Dale inside. Cool, okay! <laughs> Happy now? Yep! Now you are all ready to proceed. Hey, wait! Don't forget about me! Jiminy! Every journey worth going on needs a cricket to keep track of it. And I can't let you start this one without old Jiminy Cricket by your side. The whole team's back. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Now to mark the beginning of a new journey. I wish for you to have this, Sora. Huh? Okay. That is a heart binder. Think of it as a good luck charm made just for you. <gasps> you have a gift, Sora, for connecting with others. And this makes that gift stronger. It's time to go! Oh. May your heart be your guiding key. See? Mm. a break, okay? I told you, these things take time. Gorge, is it just me? Or is this turning into a routine? Huh? What? Uh... It's coming from you, Sora. Huh? Uh... Uh... What's this? Not me, magic stop. But I don't know how. Maybe this. Hooray! He picked up! Huh? Dale? Hey, Chipper! I finally got him! Hurry up, Chip! Well, it's about time! Chip? You gotta answer the phone, Sora! Or we can't give you updates! We got lots and lots of important stuff we want to tell you! That's why we asked Master Yen Sid to make sure you got this gummy phone we made ya. 
so we'd be able to stay in touch with you at all times. And it takes pictures. Oh, you finally finished it. Say, with this gummy phone, we can talk to each other across worlds. In fact, I might even try writing my journal on it. Wow, sounds like it's pretty handy, guys. So, what's so important? This, back when you and Riku quested through the sleeping worlds, Riku recovered some secret research data that Ansem the Wise hid inside you. Ansem's code! Mm-hmm. We've been working our tails off trying to crack it and see what it says. The data has been encrypted, so we've only deciphered some of it. Huh? Oh. I guess we haven't spoken since the castle. I'm Ienzo. Alias is here too. Alias. Whatever's between you and Roxas, it's in the past. <sighs> Zora, the reason we're here is because you and your friends defeated our nobodies, thereby recompleting us. We cast off our hearts by choice, make no mistake. But we didn't know that Xemnas, or rather, Xehanort, was deceiving us. Huh? Xemnas? Oh, he's with them! Not anymore. Xemnas and Xehanort have no hold over us now. We're just students of the heart. Exactly the same as we were before all of this began. Why, what? Hmm... But you know, now that I think about it, Axel's on our side now. We have friends we want to bring back to this world just the same as you. To do that, we have to work together. In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the bit of code we deciphered. Is it about me? Yes. In order to piece your memories back together, our teacher, Ansem the Wise, took a close look at your heart. And what he found is that your heart doesn't belong just to you. It doesn't? Gorge, you don't seem surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Just like Namine is still inside Kyrie's. Interesting. Well, no one knows your heart better than you. To be honest, we still have a plethora of questions on our side. But the idea has merit. It's incredible enough that you and your nobody are able to coexist. If you share a heart, no wonder someone as remarkable as you caught Ansem the Wise's eye. We'll keep investigating based on your hypothesis. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie! We'll give you fellows a ring if there's anything else! Remember, me and Chip, the guys at Radiant Garden, and King Mickey and everybody are never far away! And Jiminy, would you do us a favor? Teach Sora how to use the dummy phone? Leave it to me. I have to find Roxas and save him. The others are following Aqua's heart. So I'll follow Roxas's heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust the guidance that your heart gives you, Sora. That's what Master Yen Sid said. Well, go! <laughs> oh, that's easy!
Gorge, we forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Can't break your soul. Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black box? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cool! The trams are still here! So, uh, it hasn't been that long. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. And he was in the Great Escape, too. Uh-huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later when I lost the Keyblade, and you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt, but that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. He sounds like Dinosaur again. Of course, any Sora is still Sora. So wait, if Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. Huh? What is that? Nobody's!
What was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear it. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come from? Huh? Get the ice cream later. Oh. <laughs> what? Hold up. See? Voices. New ones? <laughs> what? Hainer? Pence? Olette? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? Hey, Sora! Hello, goodbye! <laughs> oh. Go! We got this! Nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Hainer, Pence, Olette, it's been ages. What? It hasn't been that long. Yes, he. Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? Are you kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is unprecedented. Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to sleuthing. We're already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? That's funny. I don't know any Roxas, mm. but the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. Uh, that's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Hmm? This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh, yeah, the other Twilight Town. It's like one of those Spot the Differences puzzles, except really easy. I guess in that town, 
We're friends with this Roxas person. Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Wanna snap a photo while we're all here? Sure, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Wait, who's taking it? Oh. Hmm. Mm. Ah, why do I have to do it? Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? <laughs> Everybody smile! <laughs> wow! That came out great! Oh, a lucky emblem! Lucky emblem? Oh yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool! <laughs> Wait, look guys, is that... Uh, you're right! I see it too! <laughs> I knew it! Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. Okay, we better start asking around. You start by checking out the old mansion. We'll catch up. Got it. I'm seriously craving ice cream. You see any lucky emblems?
Let's see. How's this? <laughs> Goofy enough Whoa. for you? Yeah. Ha. <laughs> ah. See. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese. I'll help you find the next one. Have him surrounded. Oh no. Yeah. 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 Ah. 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 
Well, take care. Parked on your head. Huh? Would you cut that up? Oh. Uh huh? You know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Mm, okay, that's fine, but I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit. Right then. So, what are you going to do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm? Oh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. See you around. Next stop, the mansion. That little feller sure seemed happy. There.
I'll help you find the next one. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there! <gasps> <gasps> Thanks for the heart attack! Oh, what? Did I scare you? So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Here we go! Eh, the password was, uh, sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Well, uh huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know what you said. Oh, and what, you do? <laughs> I know, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> then, uh... Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. 
Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I can't uh, run it. Which program? Uh, They're transported to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. Huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh... Basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chippendale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, what's next? Let's go back to town. So, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Oh. Ansem! Xemnas! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? 
Handsome and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. <sighs> if they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you tell them, Captain Goofy! In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again! Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind when one gives his heart to darkness. There is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. Now, set your heart free. Wait! It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. We got this. Three like this! Herc said, he said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me, Donald, Goofy? Huh? You betcha! Yeah. I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. Hmm. We can try and catch up with Hanna and the rat.
My bagpipes! It was you laddies who rescued my chef! I killed the straws! Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right! But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler! Cool! <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora! You're looking hale and hearty! I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm, what is it? Wow! Cake! Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Scrooge, you open the bistro and try your Hi! It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh! I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun! Kinda like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. <laughs> Go on, lads. You need to scrounge up some ingredient. Yes, we're still short. Let's keep searching. Needs more ingredients. Huh. We better keep an eye out.
to stop the class. Well, I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah. <laughs> nice moves. Do it again. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. See if there's more. Yeah. Ha. Chef can use flesh? Yeah. I can use a vacation. Yeah. Just imagine the yummy stuff little chef will whip up with this. Yeah. Hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. 
Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You can have this at the Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry and eager to spend their money. <laughs> at the Scrooge. Gorsh, he sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> oh. oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's a job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy? Kyrie, Brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. We brought some ingredients. Is the food ready yet? Huh? Hmm? He hasn't started? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Oh no! Oh! Whoa! Would you... Uh, you're gonna make me cook? Sorry.
Yes! How's that?
I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yensa tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before. And some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy. But I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. <gasps> What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. Mm. 
A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Huh. Okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Mm. Are you okay? Lee! Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? <laughs> Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Anson the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. 
You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam, when Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his Heartless, and his Nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah.